Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x minus 1 whole to the power 4 plus x plus 3 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This negative 1, negative 1 can be written as 1 minus 2 and this plus 3, 3 can be written as 1 plus 2. So, we can rewrite this equation as x plus 1 minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus x plus 1 plus 2 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. Now, we suppose that this x plus 1, this x plus 1 is equal to m. Let x plus 1 is equal to m. So, this equation will become m minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus m plus 2 whole to the power 4 is equal to 82. Now, this m minus 2 whole to the power 4 can be written as m minus 2 whole squared and whole to the power 2 plus this m plus 2 whole to the power 4 can be written as m plus 2 whole squared and whole to the power 2 is equal to 82. Now, by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This m minus 2 whole squared will become m squared plus 2 squared or 4 minus 4 times m whole to the power this power 2 plus by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This m plus 2 whole squared will become m squared plus 4 plus 4 times m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 82. Now, we suppose that this uh, m squared plus 4 is equal to a and this 4 times m is equal to b. So, let a is equal to m squared plus 4 and uh, b is equal to 4 times m. So, this equation will become a minus b whole squared plus uh, this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to 82. Now, this a minus b whole squared will become a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2ab plus this a plus b whole squared will become a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to 82. This 2ab will be cancelled out with this negative 2ab. This 1a uh, squared plus 1a squared will become 2a squared plus this uh, b squared plus uh, b squared will become 2b squared is equal to 82. From here we can factor out 2 in bracket left uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to 82. We divide both sides by 2. So, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to 41. Now, we replace this a with this m squared plus 4 and we replace this b with this 4 times m. So, this equation will become m squared plus 4 whole 
squared plus 4 times m squared is equal to 41. Now this m squared plus 4 whole squared will become m to the power 4 plus 8 m squared plus 16 plus this 4 m squared will become 16 m squared is equal to 41. Next m to the power 4 this 8 m squared plus 16 m squared will become plus 24 m squared plus 16 move this 41 to the left hand side this will become negative 41 is equal to 0. Next m to the power 4 plus 24 m squared 16 minus 41 will become negative 25 is equal to 0. Well, this m to the power 4 can be written as m squared whole squared plus 24 m squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that this m squared, this m squared is equal to y. So, this will become let m squared is equal to y. This equation will become y squared plus 24 times y minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this y squared y squared. I am going to split this plus 24y as negative y plus 25y minus 25 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out y and in bracket left uh, y minus 1 plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 25 in bracket left uh, y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this y minus 1 and this y minus 1 is common so we factor out this y minus 1 in bracket left uh, this y and this plus 25 in bracket left uh, y plus uh, 25 is equal to 0 from here either this uh, y minus 1 is equal to 0 or this y plus uh, 25 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of y 1 and from this equation we get the value of y negative 25. Now, recall that y is equal to m squared. Recall that uh, m squared is equal to y. So, when y is equal to 1, then this equation will become m squared is equal to 1. And when y is equal to negative 25, then this equation will become m squared is equal to negative 25. Now, from this equation we take square root of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we get the value of m is equal to plus minus 1. It means uh, m is equal to 1 and m is equal to negative 1. From this equation we take square root of both sides this square will be cancelled with this uh, square root and we get the value of m is equal to this uh, square root of negative 25 can be written as uh, plus minus square root of 25 times square root of negative 1. Then m will be equal to plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 and this uh, square root of negative 1 is so, from here we get two values of m, m is equal to 5i and m is equal to negative 5i. Now, to find the values of x, we recall that we have supposed y 
we have supposed that uh, x plus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to positive 1, then this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to 1. And from here, we get the value of x is equal to 0. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. When m is equal to negative 1, then this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. And from here, we get the value of x negative 2. This is the second value of x. This is the second solution of this equation. And when m is equal to 5i, then this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to 5i. And from here, we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 plus 5i. This is the third value of x. This is the third solution of this equation. And when m is equal to negative 5i, then this equation will become x plus 1 is equal to negative 5i. And from here, we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 minus 5i. This is the fourth value of x. This is the fourth solution of this equation.